Hey guys, what is up? Today I have a new video for you. This time we are going to install Kali Linux on a physical laptop. Many of you requested a video like this to specifically see how to install something on a physical device. So we are going through the whole process of creating a bootable USB drive and installing Kali Linux on our notebook. We are going to install the newest version of Kali Linux. So the only thing you need is your laptop and a USB drive with sufficient space. So the first thing we need to do is download Kali Linux itself. Go to the kali.org slash downloads website and download the 64-bit version of Kali Linux. Click on the HTTP link to download it. At the same time you can go ahead and download Rufus. We will create the bootable USB drive using Rufus. I used this tool for many years already and it never failed me. Just a couple of uh, distributions or Linux distributions didn't work with it, but most of them did. So go ahead to rufus.arkeo.ie and download Rufus 3.1 or whatever it will be. The okay, once version. you have downloaded both of the things, go to your download directory and double click to start Rufus. Then go ahead and click on select and choose the Kali Linux ISO image. Make sure the correct USB drive is selected on top as a device and give it a name if you want to give it a different name just do it and simply click on start. If you get asked that there is a new version of SysLinux available and if you want to download it click on yes. Then select write in DD image mode that's very important for Kali otherwise you will not be able to mount it during the installation. Okay, so we wait a couple of minutes. It will take around five to finish this process of writing the image on the right, USB so it took drive. about five minutes to finish. I uh, unplugged the USB drive and I'm going to plug it into my laptop right now and I'm going to start it up. I hope you can see good. I set, tried to set the camera up that you can read the text. Let's see if that works out. Uh, boot up your laptop and go to the boot menu for a Lenovo. It's hitting enter while booting up and then pressing F12 to choose a temporary startup device. Uh, you can find it out how to get in the boot menu of your laptop by just googling your laptop model and boot menu. But if you try to install or if you want to install Kali Linux, you should actually be aware of how to get into a boot menu, so I won't go into that anymore. Okay, then choose the USB drive, of course, that you just created. Give it a couple of seconds and then we see the Kali menu or installer or boot menu. Then you can either choose to go into a live system to check out Kali first without installing it or you can simply install it. You can choose the graphical install if you want to. I always go for the normal one because it always works well. So I actually never tried the graphical one, so if you want to try that, go ahead. You cannot break anything. And of course, make sure your laptop, uh, everything you having on the uh, laptop hard drive will be erased. But that should be a no-brainer. All right, select your language. Select your location if you want for good measure. I'm gonna just do it right here, Germany. I always leave the locale setting on United States and as a key map, so the keyboard layout, choose, choose whatever suits you best. I'm going for the German one here too. Then let's see what's going to happen next. Takes a couple of seconds to load again. I will also do a video on how to install Parrot OS next because that's also highly requested from my viewers and uh, my go-to distribution for pen testing at the moment because I really like it. I also have a video on how to install it already on VirtualBox so check that out if you want. Alright, so detect network hardware. Some of your hardware needs non-free firmware to operate. The firmware can be loaded from removable media such as USB stick or floppy. Missing firmware files are, let's try to load the missing firmware files from the USB drive. 
that sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. For older laptop models there can be an issue, but uh, usually once you establish a internet connection, it automatically pulls the driver. Let's see what's gonna happen here. It now tries to get an internet connection, which we don't have at the moment. So we are going to choose the wireless internet or the wireless interface as our primary one. And we select a network here. Then we are going to put a key, which I'm gonna enter quickly. Let's switch the webcam off for that because you can actually read the key here. Just a second. Okay. Here we go again. Now I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. I'm not gonna skip any part, so you also see this, how I'm entering basically the password, because I don't wanna cut it out, I wanna show you every single step. Okay, so select the host name, that will be your computer name, I just leave it Kali. For now, click on continue. You can enter a domain name if you are inside of a domain, which I am not, so I'm not gonna select it. Then you can choose a root password. I will choose a not so safe password for this demonstration now. You should choose a safer password. Let's see where this is heading. Okay, then I just try to adjust the exposure a little bit, just a sec. Uh, that's not much better, but sh you should be fine to read it. Okay, so um, for a pen testing machine, I highly recommend you to use entire disk and set up a encrypted LVM. So you want to encrypt your hard drive on a pen testing machine. That's a no brainer. Select your hard drive and again, be sure that everything there will be deleted. Uh, select all files in one partition as it is recommended for new users click on yes. Now you will need to set up an encryption password in a couple of seconds. Okay, it's uh, actually now overwriting uh, the files which can take a little bit of time. So once that is done, we will be It looks like this is a new step in the uh, Kali Linux setup. I've just read through it because I actually haven't seen it before. I haven't installed the newest version from the installer yet. So as you can read here, this step may be skipped by canceling this action, albeit at the expense of a slight reduction of the quality of the encryption. So if you set it up on a live system, just leave it running true. I'm gonna cancel it right here because I'm gonna erase this laptop again anyway. Then choose a encryption passphrase. You can choose the same as your root password to don't need to enter two passwords. This is what I at least recommend you if you don't wanna enter two different passwords. And it, it notifies me that my passphrase is too short and weak, which I am very aware of, so I'm anyway doing it now for this demonstration. Always choose a strong password, of course. And then we should finish up the partitioning. Now you get informed what's going to happen. Just click finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Confirm again and the installation is running. We will be back in a second. While the installation this. is almost finished, we get asked if we want to use a network mirror to potentially update softwares or download newer version of softwares while we are installing it. Uh, we choose yes for that. We don't have a proxy, so we just click on continue and then it eventually will download newer versions of the programs that come with Kali Linux while you are installing it, so you don't spend that time after the installation is done. Next you get asked if you want to install the group bootloader to the master boot record, which of course you want to do, and you choose your hard drive. Now we get notified that the installation is finished, the whole process took about between five and seven minutes, I think. So just click on continue. It's 
running some removal of packages it doesn't need anymore on the end of the installation so your hard drive is not trashed. Let's give that another couple of seconds but it should be fairly quickly finished. Finally the machine rebooted after another minute or so and you can see that it automatically already boots into our Kali installation. So now we will be prompted to provide our encryption password, which we are happily providing. And you can already unplug your DVD drive. Okay, now it's a little bit dark here, that takes a couple of seconds to boot. I will try to put up the brightness in here. Yeah, that looks much better. Uh, then log in with root and your password that you have set before. And if all goes well, we should be in our new Kali installation. And as you can see, it was definitely uh, not as hard as you might have thought. So, let me quickly adjust that a little bit that you can see something. So that's basically all you need to do. And um, after that's done, I recommend you to first things first, open a, a terminal window, run apt, get update and apt get upgrade. So that you make sure everything is up to date. Uh, you see that there are a couple of packages, just confirm with uh, yes and uh, let the system update. And once that is finished, you are on the, the newest version of Kali Linux and it should have been uh, very easy for you to follow along, even you are a first time installer of Kali Linux. As I said before, next time will be the installation of Parrot Sec OS, which I really like as a penetration distribution. Um, stay tuned for that, subscribe to the channel to get informed for more Kali Linux and pen testing and Linux tutorials and also don't forget to check out the website cosec.com for more and more tutorials on everything Linux and penetration testing. Thanks for watching this video, please again subscribe to the channel, like the video and see you in the next one.